Yeah, the living mercy really stands out to me. You know, when I hear that, the unity, we, you know, we always profess our unity in the creed, you know, every Sunday. I think that's really lovely because, yeah, we all speak different languages. We come from different households. We have had life experiences that are a wide variety and a vast array. And, you know, we, we come together and it is one Lord and it is one creed that we have and we are united by Christ and he takes all of those things that make us different and unique and he makes them all a whole and he takes us and he teaches us in the school of his love you know and I think that living mercy you know when you have a wide variety and a vast array of people with backgrounds and stories to tell mercy is a necessity when you have a lot of area where there could be misunderstanding and where there needs to be a shown desire to communicate to uh, be united i think the more i'm here the less broken i feel you know it's hard to share yourself with others when you feel so broken and i think i feeling like I want to share myself with others and I want to be a blessing to others. We've just recently um, started volunteering with St. Vincent de Paul and the handful of experiences we've had through our volunteering makes me understand that there is a higher calling, that there's more work to be done, and I want to share my gifts and be able to help others. And I'm just so grateful that I have found a place to do that. My dad wasn't really in the picture growing up, and I believe that having that adversity, you know, really helped me in high school. But I think as he, um, he actually was in prison and incarcerated. And in 2018, he got out. And I thought I was very mentally prepared. I thought I was very spiritually prepared to take that on. And it was actually at that time that I encountered one of the first alphas here at Cabrini. And I was a wreck emotionally, mentally. And I think God's mercy really drove me to overcome that and actually kind of get back on track. I think I had gone through a lot of the motions, especially being in college and going through that experience. But I think it was really in 2019. And then in the during 2020, the pandemic really gave me a time to reset and really think about what's God's path for me. And it was, it was a powerful moment to receive that grace from Him. I think you question a lot of things is to, you know, having been uh, a Christian most of my life, all of my adult life, uh, that was really hard. Everything that I believed was because someone had told me. And I had a, just a terrific uh, period of time, uh, it was very special to me, where I tore my faith apart. I've learned a lot about myself and about my faith and the meaning of, of life. And, uh, and I'm, I'm so thankful I did. So that was very special that God had mercy on me to open the door since I was knocking. I have encountered the Lord's mercy in quite a few ways, but I think recently, it has been through the mercy that he has given me to help heal from my past, like with my from my parents' divorce and from other things that have happened. We can feel really broken as humans because of external circumstances or choices we've made. And there was a time that I was able to pray before the Eucharist and go to confession. And I was able to really hear the Lord saying to me, like, I want you to touch my wounds with 
your crippled hand with what I saw as like my brokenness. I want you to touch me there with that hand because that is how like you will encounter my mercy and my love is not through the parts of me that are perfect or look good on the outside. It's the parts of me that aren't pretty and um, are more messy. Like that's where he wanted to encounter me. My godmother now, actually, I guess. Um, she she was going through something and, and uh, we were sitting right, right over there at the first pew. We just, I just asked Father Damien for like, for like a blessing for, for her. And we were sitting there and it's just like, as soon as he started talking, like a few moments later, like it just felt like a, like a cold shot go through me. And I think that's the first time I ever really felt um, like the Holy Spirit in that way. It was a beautiful moment, it lasted all of 30 seconds, but it's, it was one of those moments that like really stuck with me. And I think it's gonna stick with me the rest of my life. The last three, four years, I've definitely felt closer to God. And it's just like maybe little things, but a bunch of little things that lead to things, you know? So it's like, I had life gone the way I wanted it, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Like I wouldn't have went, met my wife. I wouldn't have the job that I have now, all that stuff, you know? So it's like, I definitely, I feel like I've been pushed on a way to go where I should, you know? And I definitely feel that. And we've had hard times and then it's like, it always works out kind of thing, you know, right when it should, you know? It's where it's like you lose a job and then you're hoping for this one job, but then this other job pops up and now I have a faith because had I not, you know, gone to the job that I have now, I wouldn't have met the person that kind of inspired me to get back into faith, you know. So it's just it's really interesting. Before I was from when I was drinking, I wasn't invited to, I wasn't invited to anything, so people invite me to do things. So hey, <laughs> this is new. <laughs> but at church, I don't know. I, for me, I see God in everyone. You know, it's, it, I, you know, there's, and when I say yes, you know, I'm just, uh, I guess, thanking God, or, or you know, I'm, I'm saying yes to Him. And they're asking. I know they're. I know people. God works through people. They're asking, and <clears throat> and for me to say no. You know, it's not God's will. God, for me, is to say yes. Do all the different things that's going on in Cabrini, though. I don't know, all, everything, Alpha and all that, Taze, family dinners. Saying yes is opening a new world to me, I guess. And it's, it made me have deeper faith, you know. I was actually at one of the Alphas. They're discussing about how God's love is very unconditional. And so it was a, a reminder for me, I guess. And <laughs> so, I just recently became a mother when I was going through it. And so kind of, I think it kind of discussed about how we give our unconditional love to our family and to our sons. And so I kind of opened up my eyes about how <laughs> Like that love that I have for my son is the same love. Yeah, and I felt, you know, like the Holy Spirit, you know, it's just kind of, it was, it was a really beautiful experience. And so, you know, <laughs> I went home and I talked about it with Hugo and he's like, oh, you know, I've noticed that you've become much more um, at ease. And so it's kind of helping me be more grateful just to give thanks and it's helped my relationship with Hugo. And it's just overall, I've become a little, you know, just a little bit better of a person. <laughs>